I could get a cataract from being on the pill. Hello my loves, welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Jess and if you're not new around here, welcome back sweetheart. It's a joy to have your beautiful face here today. In this video, I'm literally just gonna be reading through all of the side effects of the pill based on like their risk riskiness you know going from like low risk to like high risk and like how common these ones are because i recently developed a side effect that at first i didn't know it was a side effect of the pill i was literally thinking what the hell is this and then that just made me think well if that's a side effect that i hadn't heard of then how many more are there i mean we all know you know that there's a the big sheet of side effects that comes with the pill pack it's all long right i never read it the only way that i now know about all the side effects really is because of the internet it broke it down for me you know drum roll please the side effect is yellow brown patches slash hyperpigmentation of my skin what the fuck when i read that up and i learned that you can get hyperpigmentation because of the pill and the hormones in it and how it affects the hormones in your body it affects the pigment it affects your melanin i couldn't believe it i actually couldn't believe it i felt like i have been signed up to a scam i signed myself up to a scam i signed myself up to something that can physically alter my skin and not just like spots or rashes it's changed the color of my skin it's just on my back here i've got a few different patches i will do you the pleasure of showing you here we go one day i looked in the mirror and they were there i didn't even notice it gradually i didn't even notice one pop up gradually they were just all there one day i caught it in the mirror and i was like what is this and it's quite concerning when you have like patches on your skin then i googled it is that a possibility of the pill and yes it is and then i spoke to my friend and one of her friends is on the implant and their entire back is covered in this hyperpigmentation and it just gradually happened within like a couple of months and it's just, and it's really, just really made, made me, me think, think fucking, fucking hell, hell. What, else what else is there, is there that, that you could get and it's always one of those things where it's like you hear these side effects and you think oh i'll never get that who would have thought i would have got hyperpigmentation not me can you give this video a big Go thumbs up for your girl because I really am struggling out here on YouTube and I would really appreciate your support very very much if you do anything please just thumbs up because you know it does really fucking help I'm on the desogestrel pill so I thought I might as well read out the side effects of the pill that I'm on if experienced these tend to have a less severe expression okay so we're starting from the common ones and they're less severe right? water retention breast pain acne, dizziness, headache, nausea, abdominal bloating. Infrequent side effects, if experienced, these tend to have a severe expression. Excessive fat in the blood, high blood pressure, blood clot in a deep vein of the extremities. I mean, I've heard about blood clots and that's why I had to come off the pill before because I'm not a headache person, I never get headaches. So when I did on the pill, the nurse said, you got to come off it ASAP, basically. <laughs> Altered interest in having sexual intercourse. Yeah, that's very regular for a lot of people, actually. Their libido completely fucks off you know like there's no interest in sex and i i have experienced that from time to time to be honest throat irritation what the fuck bronchitis uti enlarged breasts abnormally long or heavy periods yeah i mean i feel like that's one of the ones that we know going into it that that's a possibility that our, our periods are going to be on a fucking roller coaster increased sensitivity of the skin to the sun What? So many of these things, they don't make sense. Why is my skin gonna be more sensitive to the sun? Ah, because of the way that it affects your fucking skin. The fact that you can get hyperpigmentation. Yellow brown patches on skin. Weight gain, weight loss, vomiting, stomach cramps. Abnormal glucose tolerance test results. Intense abdominal pain. Mood changes. Breast milk production not associated with childbirth, birth or nursing. Wow. I didn't know that one. Inflammation or infection of the vagina. Vaginal dryness, pain with menstruation, premenstrual syndrome, itching, hair loss. A condition of hair growth on parts of the body normally without hair. Backache, muscle spasm, difficulty sleeping, low energy, a skin rash, visible water retention, fluid retention in the legs, feet, arms or hands, changes in appetite, diarrhea, pelvic pain, nervousness, a decrease in how often a woman menstruates, discharge of fluid from the cervix and anxious feelings. Why do we take this stuff? I can't wait. To go on the coil <laughs> i'm gonna get the copper coil by the way i don't want the hormones anymore this is scary like what if my entire back gets covered what if every part of my body gets covered in these yellow brown patches next up is rare side effects if experienced these tend to have a severe 
expression. Benign hepatic cell adem adenoma, a type of liver tumour. Why is your hormone pill affecting my liver? A breast tumour. Tumour. High amount of triglyceride in the blood. I don't even know what triglyceride is but why is it in my blood? <laughs> Hemolytic uremic syndrome, a condition that affects the kidney and the blood. What the actual fuck? This is fucked. A clot in the small veins that carry blood to or from the retina of the eye. Jesus Christ. Clouding of the lens of the eye called cataracts. I could get, I could cataracts, get cataracts from being from on the pill. The these side effects, I don't really think they're worth it. I know that a lot of people don't get them. Rare doesn't mean impossible, it happens to people. And I would like to actually know like the actual numbers when it comes down to how many people actually experience these rare, rare effects. Because, you know, say if 100 people are taking the pill, rare means what, one or two? But obviously not 100 people are taking this pill. How many people is on the pill? I'm gonna Google that. How many people are on the pill? More than 100 million women around the world use the combined oral contraceptive. A hundred million. So what's rare then? A hundred thousand? Fucking hell. Sudden blindness and pain upon moving the eye. Sudden fucking blindness. A heart attack. You know what? I just say we all restrain from having any kind of sexual intercourse with any kind of penis. I say we do that. A clot in the lung. Abdominal bleeding in the brain resulting in damage to the brain called a hemorrhagic stroke. A stroke. Obstruction of a blood vessel by a blood clot. A blood clot in an artery. A blood clot in the vein of the liver. A blood clot. Inflammation of the large intestine. Inflammation of the liver, liver called hepatitis. Gallstones. Disease of the gallbladder. A blockage of the bile duct that, that resulting in high bravarar levels. Decreased kidney function. An ovarian cyst. Unconsciousness. Trouble breathing. Okay, is this getting ridiculous now? Is this getting ridiculous now? Please let me know in the comments if I should stop. <laughs> Doesn't matter because I'm still gonna go, aren't I? But just let me know now, please, if this is ridiculous. <laughs> a significant type of allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. A type of allergic reaction called angioedema. A hypersensitivity reaction to a drug. Generalized weakness, pancreatitis, cervical dysplasia, a development of abnormal cells in the cervix. <laughs> a liver tumor, liver cell carcinoma. Focal nodular hypersplasia of liver, type of liver tumor. An acute blockage of the mesenteric vein. Let's actually ask a question here. How do they know what possible side effects are, of something are? I might be wrong but my theory is this is why when a new drug comes out it is tested for a number of years anyone that takes this new drug is essentially a guinea pig right the only way that they know what these side effects are and are able to add these to the list are because of people taking this new medicine that has given them this information am i wrong let me know if I'm wrong and let me know if I'm right, if you know the facts, because I'm thinking, how can they know that all of these are a potential? Is it just because of the chemicals in the drugs that they just know that those are associated? But how do they know those associated? That is a lot. And these are very concerning as well, I can't lie. I could get a heart attack. I could go suddenly blind and have pain moving my eyes because of this pill that I'm on to stop me from getting pregnant. Trying to weigh up, you know, what's really worth it here? I can't continue like this. This is scary. I've been on this pill now for about five months and the yellow brown patches just popped up about a month and a half ago or two months ago so it's like if that's happened within that time what's who's to say that i'm not going to develop something else within the next couple months and i just don't like putting these hormones in my body and it's just all mad so we'll try the copper coil we'll see how that goes please let me know what side effects you experience from the pill and especially if you've experienced any side effects that you were taken aback by as well and also do you have you got the hyperpigmentation of the yellow brown patches on your skin please comment that down below as well because i've literally never ever heard anyone talk about it i didn't know it was a thing this is why i love social media because i can now enlighten you beautiful people that, that it is indeed a thing and i i experienced it as you saw on my beautiful back are they going to be there forever probably that's what hyperpigmentation is right unless you find a product that can help but i don't see how any product can help get rid of hyperpigmentation i don't get it i'm not bothered about it being there and it looking like that i'm just bothered about the fact that there's something that i have put in my body that has 
physically done that. It's very alarming, very concerning to me, but whatever. Our bodies change all the time and that's exactly it. So that is that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful life and I will see you very, very soon, my loves. Much love. Peace.